Pum 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 I can't wait for it to be winter time. And look at me now. <laughs> I've got like a fleece jacket on and my, my scarf. This is a really cool jacket, I think, in my opinion. Look at it. I thought I got it around the time when I was playing Detroit Become Human, when that came out. And it looks kind of like Connor, look at it. It's got the got some stuff on it and a lot of cool details that reminds me of that company. <laughs> But yeah, it's cold now, so, you know, you get what you ask for. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, though. I'm enjoying it. The, the heat was getting to be too much. Let's see. What happened last time? Last time, we found a telephone. We made it back to the junkyard, and we heard a loud bang. And we left off wondering what that loud bang was, and we we're about to investigate it. So let's get back into the game and see what that was about. All right, chapter 4, 8.23 p.m time is passing. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Oh, is he a friend? He's a friend. What was his voice? He had like a cool surfer dude. No, Lynn! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I can't allow that pigeon, man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each other to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? <laughs> anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Okay, we updated our phone book. Some pile of garbage from outside. <laughs> That's his pocket right under the pigeon. Oh, he's a cool guy. Okay. <laughs> Slides down the stairs like Princess Peach. There's a doctor. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now, let's have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. They're really trying. Okay, so I'm at the telephone. Can I move the lamp? <laughs> oh, downstairs. Oh, this is the place that has the Rube Goldberg machine. I remember that one a lot. Can't reach her. Let's read this note. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Somebody stuck it in behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. Maybe I can reach her from here. Maybe we can finally talk to her. She died. <sighs> Unconscious this time as well, hey? Where am I? Oh, she's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me, are you ignoring me? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? Oh, so I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. Okay, she's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? It's a pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something real unusual is going down in this town tonight. 
Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the real unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There we go. There. Now this is more like it. <laughs> you don't know who you are. Okay, well, yeah, tell me. What is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Oh, I can ask questions. Look how big this text is. <laughs> um, all right, do you know about me? I'm looking for some answers to the questions. Who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in a junkyard outside. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. Oh, I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. W why not? Because I don't know you. What do you what do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. Oh, no way. So you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. Do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way, I don't think this was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? Y you're kidding. You mean... Bingo! By you! Oh, I, I asked you to come here tonight? But why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You've got to be kidding me. It goes without saying that I don't remember. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, so I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And I've, oh, she's crying. And after I just passed my tests, finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys have just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in this old junkyard like this? Poor kid, the shock is setting in. And so, I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going four minutes before a person's death. This isn't actually the first time you died tonight, you know? You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? I nearsighted Jigo. Hmm, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. Yeah, I guess that means even if the death is erased, the memory still remains. Okay. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, hopefully. Yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. <laughs> Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you can try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? Um, I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that's very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who just saved my life once already, but I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. 
even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, but I really apologize. I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason why I was killed. But I still wanted to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Rewind time! Ooh! Four minutes before death. Lynn's second death. I'm headed back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Okay, the maintenance building. Oh, it was her book. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Oh, um. <laughs> so Amy Rose coded. Detective, is anything okay? Everything okay? Oh, um, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Oh? Okay. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, um, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. To the station? Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Hey guys! Hey, hey! Evening, patrolman! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir! Nice work! Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around the outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Why does he say that? <laughs> yes, sir. He says that before they respond. Yo, how's it going, Mebbit? <laughs> Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigations Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my Lin is in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. He looks so nervous, though. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never maybe? Oh, well, um, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said I, he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Oh. Okay, Lynn, were you snooping in on other people's cases? You know, I don't suspect you, baby. I'm just trying to clear things up. You're not even the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you, I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! Ooh, somebody. It seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Okay. 
Mm, I guess we'll just move them away from the window. Trick time! Oh, you know, the guy that shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah? Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go outside and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to get to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they said about three strikes and you're out. <laughs> as long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Um... These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. Oh, that's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. <laughs> what could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. <laughs> you think so? Do you know what it is? Uh, why do you have to ask me? Could you see I was looking away evasively? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. <laughs> I don't even remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. <laughs> okay, I guess she's not in forensics. Yes, sir. Oh, the book. Okay, let me, let me, let me go over there. Let me get over there. Okay, so now I can reach. Oh, okay, I can reach now. And then, it's, it's so hard to control this guy. <gasps> the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We've got your kitchen. What? <laughs> One chicken dinner, please. Oh, would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. What am I going to do at the chicken kitchen? I'm staying here. But we got a new place. That's nice. No sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right. I can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was. We need to be in the junkyard. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal. Um. Uh. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's gonna be a problem. Why is there a book on the ceiling? Oh, that's my book. Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panic, okay? Don't you shove things in a bookcase when you're panic? Who are you calling anyway? It was personal business. I don't know what to do. Why? Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call a detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. Okay, what do you have to say? Because I don't know. Say, did you hear what the officer just said? Yes. Strange taste that fellow has. <laughs> His tastes are perfectly normal. <laughs> but anyway, not that part. The part about the order he got. The order to telephone outside if I did anything, it's suspicious. Telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, this state of affairs might change. Oh, like the pink notebook. No, let me do it. No, let me do it. Not when he's around, because he's going to tell him to go. Okay, so maybe I have to go back in time i'm gonna start from the beginning because i don't want to show cabanella should we should we go to the chicken kitchen no no let's stick with the plan 
I feel like if I go there, they're just gonna let me, they're gonna make me start over again. I wanna show him this, this suspicious thing. And then he'll call the junkyard, yes! Yes, okay, that's a good idea, good idea, good idea. Hmm? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope. That definitely was suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Okay, okay, junkyard, junkyard, junkyard. Oh, the greenie. <laughs> What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let on you noticed anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. Oh, I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is, too. Go there. Okay, we're getting places. We're getting places. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I've been waiting for you. Eek, what are you? A desk lamp? That sounds like an old, oh, old grandpa. That sounds like an old grandpa. I did not know it had a grandpa voice. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like. And now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. We made it. Okay. Carry on, boys. Oh, we were doing that earlier. It changed a little bit. All right. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. So let's go then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. Same. Can I see Cabanella? Can I see him going up the stairs? Cause he's so funny. Okay, I'm not missing this again. <laughs> okay, look at him dancing up the stairs. We gotta beat him. Okay, so we have a spotlight. He's so funny. Okay. Oh, I can turn the light off. What do I do now? Okay. Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make good and sure he understands what happens to people who points guns at others. There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. I don't know, I don't know. How do I pause? How do I pause? How do I pause? Uh, okay. I'm gonna move back, 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 back. Okay. Uh, turn off. Okay. 
Do I wait for his bike? Yes, okay. Okay, we caught we caught his bike. <laughs> and now Oh, he's behind the truck. Okay, okay, okay. This is one step ahead, Geo. I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman. I think his name is Tango. Oh, one one step ahead, Tango. <laughs> and nearsighted Jigo. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. Um, we had to stop him from shooting, and fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time is passing. Let's shine the light on him. That's so funny, actually. Oh, there, we put a stop to that shot, at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking his shot here and there is really gonna stop him. If you wanna rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. So where is he going to go next? Clear the curious soul. <laughs> I've gone to so many different things. Nothing. Okay. This isn't the answer. Nothing? So what's happening now? Where did he go? No. Oh my gosh, the guy has something on his... Come back over here. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my model will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. <laughs> okay. Sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. <laughs> Take me with you. Why do I have to move the camera by myself? Okay. Oh, that light's good. Mm. Oh, hey, did you turn that flashing light on? It wasn't me. It went off by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off of it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gotten that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sight. They won't even let us use all four searchlights at once. Or so one of them is going to turn off? We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Yeah, especially if you're out in the dark. I hope he shows up over here again. Dang, really? Oh my gosh, one of the lights went out. Three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. Oh, that's so mean. Okay, a very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Mm. What does this do? Nothing. That's funny. I thought this lever was for swinging that crane thing around. Um, I'd like to swing that horrible hitman around the screen. I wonder if there's some other ways we can use it. Screen. Let me look around. Let me look around. Oh, there's stuff up there. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm understanding. Again? Oh my gosh, I don't have that much time. One second. Should I turn it on right now? Oh no. Zero, he 
he's still gonna shoot? I didn't make it in time. Times up. Even if we block his shot, that'll only buy us a little more time. It doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with evil is to crush it completely. Well, we can crush him. I saw, I saw that the crane had um, crush-worthy items on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's fine with me. I just need to make sure that you go in the right spot. Is the other guy not gonna come over here? Come on, get over here. Okay. Now he's gonna walk over here. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna follow him over there. And turn this one off. Come on, come on, come on. Did I really miss it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was too distracted. That's fine, I have a lot of time. Okay, so he doesn't like that. Awesome, so he's gonna show up in the spot that I want him to. Pull that crossing gate up. Gate, we're gonna crossing gate up. We'll wait for him up there. You think this will fall on him? Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Cecil, get him. Hold up, when did I become her assistant? <laughs> You hear something? <laughs> Did you hear that scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There, we found a nice dark spot for our gloom loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased again. They diverted. Okay, that one was a little bit hard. Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said too. Well, I'm jealous of you actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost trick. Nobody can save my life though. Oh, these powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I, I was kidding. Well, guess we better be getting back to the present. All right, let's see how fate has changed. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Why was this raised back again? Whee! Oh, oh, <laughs> that's nice. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Um, super's office. I don't trust that pigeon guy. I don't know, it's something, something... I think he was part of the bad guys? I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. 
Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She says she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Find out next time on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. <laughs> Okay, I felt like that one was shorter than the other ones, but thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!